Peace, infinite waters, diving deep once again. We are out here in nature, baby, in the middle of a canyon. You can't get more nature than that. How to become a self-respecting person. Let's just... Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. We got the birds all around us, deep divers. Now, I got a question that came in. Ralph, how can I respect myself more? Sometimes I feel worthless and I want to cultivate more self-respect now. I also, Ralph, want other people to respect me because sometimes people look down on me and we ain't even had breakfast, Ralph. Can I get a hello? <laughs> Alas, we are about to dive deep. Let me share with you what's helped me along my journey. 12 life hacks to cultivate self-respect within yourself right now. How to become a self-respecting person. It first starts with this. I can relate because along my early journey, I too, like you, wanted the whole world to respect me. I wanted the whole world to validate my existence. And guess what? I didn't respect myself. <laughs> Before the world can respect you, you have to fill your cup. You have to cultivate self-respect within yourself. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. So every single day, I've got a massive mirror in my home and I'm staring at myself and saying, Ooh, you are fine. Okay. <laughs> Self-love. That's how to cultivate self-respect now. Self-love. How do you cultivate more self-love? Go to the place where you find your greatest power. For me, that's in nature. That's how I respect myself. I don't need the world to respect me. I'm in nature. That's all that matters. So to cultivate self-respect... Practice the art of self-love. You can't love anybody until you love yourself. You can't respect anybody until you respect yourself. To get respect, also, you have to learn how to give respect. I'm always in the comment section replying to deep divers because you are worthy. I'm not better than anybody else because I know I respect myself. Therefore, I can respect other people. The psychology of a bully is to tear people down. But guess what? The bully does not love themselves. They don't appreciate themselves, but more so they don't accept themselves. So they want to make everybody else's lives miserable. To cultivate self-respect, stop waiting for the world to validate your existence. Find a beautiful mirror and say, what? 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 You're fine. <laughs> what is the second life hack to cultivate self-respect now within yourself? It starts with this. To become a self-respecting person. Don't tolerate people who don't support you. I keep a close circle. Just birds and flies and bees around me pretty much. And the cat down the road. I don't have a lot of friends to be honest. And that's how I cultivate a lot of self-respect. You see... Don't just be around people for the sake of, well, being around people. Don't surround yourself with people who don't support you. They don't root for you. They don't wish you well. They're not motivating you. They're not bringing anything fresh 
into your life. You see, self-respecting people never tolerate people who don't support them. They always are around people who are rooting for them, which boosts their own self-respect. Because we are not alone. If you've got people who are on your side, it can lead you into more self-respecting behavior. If you are around people who, they whisper behind your back, they talk behind your back. Not good energy, right? So cultivating self-respect is all about choosing your social circle wisely because we become like the people we surround ourselves with most often. Now, what's the third life hack to become a self-respecting person? You see, self-respecting people never, <laughs> say, oh, it's just about the money over their peace of mind. Making lots of money is not a prerequisite for getting a lot of self-respect or having a big mansion is not a prerequisite for getting a lot of self-respect. Self-respecting people know this. They prioritize self-care. It's at the top of the list. Therefore, it is more important than making other people money they don't even know. You're working for a company, you're getting a small piece of change, someone else is making far more money than you. Self-respecting people take care of themselves. Right now, I'm chilling in the heart of nature, baby, in the middle of a canyon, and it feels so good to be alive. I'm practicing the art of self-respect through self-love by coming to my natural habitat by coming to my natural habitat i'm not saying oh it's all about the money i need to work work no i don't i just need to be in nature and everything will take care of itself because i am prioritizing my self-care what is the fourth life hack to cultivate self-respect now What's helped me along my journey, plain and simple, is this. Seven day vegan challenge. When it comes to food, we all have different food behaviors. Shout out to everybody on Snapchat. I see your awesome food habits. I'm here to tell you, beautiful deep divers, if you are a vegan, like I am, that's just a label, by the way, be proud. I'm so proud the seven day vegan challenge is inspiring millions of people to eat better. I'm cultivating self-respect because I'm not saying, oh, I'm afraid to be a vegan. No, no, no. I'm proud and I'm always gonna talk about it because it's transformed my life in the most serene way. If you are a vegetarian, I'm here to tell you, be proud. I too was one, but I transitioned to a more plant-based diet, okay? But it's okay, it's okay to be a vegetarian. If you are a meat eater, I'm here to tell you, it's okay. If you are working your way to start eating healthier, avoid the processed meats, it's okay. Don't be so hard on yourself, right? Because self-respecting people acknowledge where they are, knowing that they still have a way to go before they finally end up where they know they are meant to be. The food journey is a process. I didn't just wake up saying, oh, I don't wanna eat animals. I too was a meat eater. Then I became a vegetarian. Then I realized actually animals are truly sentient beings. And well, they just might wanna to live too, just like you, right? So I've learned that eating a plant-based diet I can get all my protein from plant-based sources, all my iron from plant-based sources. Over 64 billion animals are killed every single year. So I realize by me having compassion and treating animals with respect, I am now cultivating self-respect within myself. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. 
<laughs> What's the fifth life hack? How to become a self-respecting person. We are out here chilling in Topanga. I love Topanga. My second home, baby. That's what happens when you cultivate self-respect. You come to the best nature spaces and places in the entire world. Now, <laughs> walk away. You see, self-respecting people never stay in environments which don't complement their highest frequency. To become a self-respecting person, walk away from environments not serving you. Walk away from people where the vibe feels uh, kind of off. You don't have to be there. You see, self-respecting people don't settle for mediocre interactions. Self-respecting people don't settle for medium. Self-respecting people go for the best. Friendships, relationships, because if you respect yourself, you realize you are worthy for the best kind of living. Right now, I'm living in infinite abundance. Every single day, I can do whatever I want. I can do what I want to, because I respect myself to know I'm worthy for this kind of life. If I meet someone and the vibe feels off, trust your vibes, they don't lie. Neither does the cat down the road. Walk away. You're not weak. You're just knowing. You're just knowing right now what your soul needs, right? And that's how to cultivate self-respect right now. What is the sixth life hack to become a self-respecting person? Self-respecting people never stay in a job which is not good for their health right they don't do that because life is short you see we live in a click we live in a flash of light don't worry deep divers i too used to work in a shoddy job which was not serving me and then i said wait a minute what's the point of me being here i'm disrespecting myself to say actually no that's what i said i said no i'm not going to stay in a job which makes me feel worthless where i have people trying to talk down on me I'm going to I'm going to become my own boss baby. Oh, I'm going to become my own boss and nobody can tell me to be quiet. Can I get a hello? There. That feels better. Self-respecting people choose a career, a life path, a job which promotes their wellness and health. And that is why they are always in the process of becoming their greatest version. What is the seventh life hack to become a self-respecting person? Don't idly nod yeah, to a conversation you are not interested in. And don't worry, deep divers. I used to do that all the time. I'm a Pisces, very receptive, water sign. And the beauty of the Piscean energy is that we, we, we give everybody a chance. We, we listen to everybody. And sometimes as a child, I'm like 11 years old and people are just telling me things. And I'm like, then I'm 15, I'm doing the same thing. Then I'm 18, I'm doing the same thing, just listening. Yeah, 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 yeah. But not really into it. It wasn't till I was 65, no, just kidding. It wasn't until I was like 21, which I said, actually, I found my voice. You see, self-respecting people are learning how to find their voice. And they're not just idly nodding along yeah, to conversations which bore them to death. Be real to yourself. Don't say no when you want to say yes. Don't say yes when you want to say no. Find your voice. And that's what self-respecting people are doing every single day. What is the eighth baby, baby, beautiful way, life hack to become a self-respecting person? Ghosting. In psychology, we call ghosting <laughs> being a ghost. Ghosting is where you are in the midst of someone who is very negative, sometimes very annoying sometimes very angry a very angry person and the only way to respond because you've tried silence right 
and then you're like actually let me say a few words you try a few words you're like let me let me actually tell them what they're doing which isn't right then you're like actually <laughs> let me go back to silence and that's what we call ghosting sometimes people don't deserve your words that's what self-respecting people know I remind myself back in the day I used to be around someone who was very argumentative and I would argue too not realizing fire creates more fire I had to learn how to be water and I'm water anyway I'm Pisces right I had to really move into my Piscean energy and just be a ghost like ghosting where you just ignore someone totally because you realize they are now gonna have to eat their words how did that taste right that's what self-respecting people do what's the ninth hack self-respecting people do what do they know how do they cultivate self-respect right now they've stopped justifying okay their actions you don't need to explain to everybody what you're doing i went to brazil straight after university I'm like, mom, I'm going to Brazil. She's like, why? I say, I'm going to Brazil, mom. Actually, I said, I'm going for acai, baby. <laughs> Look, if you are around someone and you feel you always need to explain yourself, express yourself, they're like, why did you choose that life path? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? And you're always like, I'm doing this because I'm doing that because sometimes you can lose your own self-respect, your own self-confidence, right? So self-respecting people don't have to always justify their actions. They don't have to start explaining to people why they're doing similar to what Ralph Smart is doing and just like, whoa, breathing in that good ass Prada, baby. You don't need to justify your actions and that's what self-respecting people know Oh so well, what is the 10th life hack to become a self-respecting person? What's helped me along my journey, Deep Divers, is this. Break other people's expectations. Break their expectations. Shatter them like glass. Your parents want you to do this. Your parents want you to do this. Break their expectations. That's what self-respecting people do. Nobody said it was easy. No, it's not easy. Of course it's not. You are going to have to upset a lot of people. You see, self-respecting people are strong. They know that this life path they've chosen, they are going to meet a lot of adversity. Parents trying to pull you, parents trying to pull you in this direction, friends trying to pull you in that direction. Self-respecting people stay grounded. They they hold their ground, okay? And they break other people's expectations. I said many years ago, to become your greatest version, you have to learn how to let go of other people's expectations. Slow motion this side. You see, when I'm making videos, I'm doing what I want what I like, what I love. And if you love it too, that's beautiful. But I'm not here just to please you. I'm pleasing myself first. And that's what self-respecting people do. So break other people's expectations. And that's how you cultivate self-respect right now. What is the 11th magnificent way to cultivate self-respect right now? become your greatest version deep divers if you are always pacifying yourself indulging over consuming things which aren't good for you toxic substances heavy alcohol consumption and you know <laughs> you're not even in your right mind that's not what self-respecting people do. You see, self-respecting people don't get addicted or have substance addiction or alcohol addiction. They stay in their right mind. They've got to stay focused because when you are focused, you can cultivate self-respect. Many times we hide behind substances and alcohol consumption to run away from how we really feel. 
right? So stop trying to pacify yourself with an overconsumption of alcohol or whatever it is, okay? Because self-respect comes from self-care. What? Let me say that again. Self-respect emanates, it comes from self-care. So take care of yourself. And what is the 12th life hack to become a self-respecting person? We are in the middle of a canyon right now, baby. Now, control your narrative. You see, what's helped me along my journey? This is so powerful. Control your narrative, meaning that this is the life I chose and this is my narrative. It doesn't have to be like yours because once again, everyone has a different narrative. Everybody is seeing planet Earth in a totally different way. So take control of your narrative. This is the life I want to live because your mom has another narrative for you. The cat down the road has another narrative for you. Your friends have another narrative for you. Even random strangers have another narrative for you. And you're like, please stop. Like, can I just control my own narrative? That's what you got to do. And that's how you start cultivating self-respect within yourself. Take control of your own narrative. It's your life, not theirs. And well, when you realize that, you'll just say, should we go really loud? Let's, let's see how loud we can do it. We'll say, what deep divers? One, two, feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello there? That was pretty loud. We are out here having fun, baby. In the heart of nature, baby. Just, whoa, breathing in that good ass prana. Have a beautiful day, deep divers. Chilling in Topanga as we do. We're out here. Infinite waters. Diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy. Peace. You. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. You know what it means to the cat down the road. <laughs>